<laughs> Wet t-shirt contest? Oh no. Sorry, I know you'd really, really enjoy that. Especially for me. But no, I just finished mowing. It's like 94 degrees, feels around 100. Humidity's like around 60%, so it's moist in the air. Today I'm finally actually getting around to doing what I've been meaning to get around to doing, and that is sprigging this little area here. Yes, my little extension of the lawn. I still haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but we're doing that today. So where am I harvesting those sprigs from? Well, behind the shed. I haven't mowed it in probably two months, maybe longer. It's absolutely terrible. Okay, so that's how I'm harvesting those sprigs. I just broke out the landscape blade and dug it down into the dirt. And what I'm looking for is kind of this. I want a little, I want a little bit of like kind of the stolons, anything where the Bermuda would naturally spread and tack down. I want all that. Yeah, this, this seems to work. That was a whole lot more than I thought it would be. Whole, whole lot more. Had to break out the gorilla cart. So we're just wheeling on over down to this side of the yard. Hold on one second. That might be better, might not be. Got this guy in the back. Ooh. So the idea behind this is to just kind of take it and spread them about. At least I believe so.
so that's it. I think at least, I think that's what it's supposed to be like. I was told I could harvest the sprigs with the landscape blade. But you spread them out like that and then you water it like you would with like grass seed. So multiple infrequent times a day to keep the sprigs moist. Fully anticipating the majority of them will actually kind of die off or a good bit will die off. But what's left will establish roots and then the alpha grass emerges and spreads. So that's the theory behind sprigging and it works. I've just never done it before. And typically when you buy sprigs, you're getting them in a bushel. They were harvested, you know, with a special machine that pulls up and digs up some of the root material as well. This here, I could, while I got a little bit of it, it wasn't, it was more of a clean cut across instead of a tear down and rip. So that's why I'm expecting a little bit more death. But let's get some water going on these guys after I move the gorilla cart. And speaking of moving the gorilla cart, yeah, someone made an oopsie. Yeah, left it there for a, a few days. Okay, water's going on. Which one is this though? I think it's this one. Yeah, so let's let that water run for a little bit. Then once that's ran, I'm gonna go back over and kind of tamp it down. It's kind of hard to tamp it down when it's all dry and loose. So that's it for sprigging. Um, it is a completely viable option. It's not as fast as sod. It's faster than seed or maybe just a little bit faster than seed to have a fully established lawn. Quite a bit cheaper than sod and I guess comparable to a high-end seed. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more. I'm not sure. I'm, I made those sprigs so I can't I didn't price anything out. But hopefully here in about two weeks, two to three weeks, I'll start noticing some serious results with it. I experimented a few weeks ago, actually probably a month or so ago, where I just hand raked up some sprigs. I was on top of that for about two or three days with the watering and then kind of just stopped. Life kind of got in the way and most of it died. However, I did notice a little and I didn't film that part, so I apologize for that. But there was some little tiff grand in areas where tiff grand shouldn't be spreading that far. So some of it worked and I totally didn't really do crap to it. So this should work pretty well as long as I can stay on top of watering, working from home. So hopefully that shouldn't be a big issue whatsoever, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, now it's time to spray some fertilizer on this but y'all have to wait to another video for that so thank y'all for watching this one i appreciate it and we will see you again soon